Here we are with another ZT knife review. Uh, I'm a fan of ZT knives. I have found nothing but uh, good things from them regarding quality and fit and finish, which you would expect when you drop, you know, $200 to $400 on a pocket knife from somewhere. The fact that they're a local company and I can support the economy here in Oregon is just a plus for me. Today, we have got the oh, 0452G10 uh, Sinkovich M930 with the G10 handle folder, which is just a bunch of numbers, whatever, it's stupid. I wish ZT would give their knives some decent names. Um, here we are, we've got our G10, boom, and we've got a nice bronze titanium on the back side. This knife flips open with authority, and as you can see, it's huge. It's hugely huge. Uh, let's do a quick comparison. Here is a leak. It's like twice, two and a half times the size of a Kershaw leak. Um, on the other hand, it fits my sausage hand perfectly, as you can see here. We've got some uh, jimping along the spine of the blade here. Now we've got our G10 handle. We've got a lanyard hole. We have our tip-up pocket clip, non-reversible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, which is actually a comment I saw mentioned on a forum, which was, why am I paying so much for a knife that doesn't even have a reversible pocket clip? And I can understand that if you are wrong-handed, how that might be an issue for you. Uh, it snaps open with authority. The flipper is easy to use. It's nice and big. You just put your finger on it, flip it, bam. I, this is how I like my flippers to work. No wrist action. My finger goes down, the blade flips open. That's all I want. Uh, so the flipping action on this is fantastic. The problem with this knife, and you know, and if you've been watching my videos, you know my, my trend lately, is I'm going to smaller, slimmer, less physically imposing knives. If you whip this out in your typical office environment, people might think you're about to scream below a snack bar. And they're just not going to be that thrilled with you. Uh, this is S35 VN, I believe. Let me see here. Where are you on the blade? I don't see it. Um, we've got our serial number here. We've got our model design here. But I am not seeing our, 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 our metal. I believe it's S35 VN, which is one of my favorite steels. Uh, it's reasonable. It, it does a good job with doing what it needs to do. And I'm a big fan of it. Um, so other than the size, I do have another complaint, which is not quite so subjective, and that's this G10 handle. It feels cheap. I mean, I can't, you know, squeeze it and, 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 and squish it down the way I can with a CKRT knife that I got, but I'm just not a fan of, 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 the, of the combining the G10 and the titanium. I don't like it. Um, so this knife, unfortunately, is going back. If, on the other hand, you are in the market for a big, honking, beautiful knife, then this could very well be what you are after. Again, I've got this over at Knives Ship Free. I'll put the link in the description below, and you can pick one up there too, I imagine. Uh, he had a limited quantity, and it was on a sale when I got it, so they might be gone now. You can check other places and see if you can get so lucky. Um... Yeah, just a quick overview on this knife. It's not nothing too deep, nothing too fancy. Uh, as soon as I pulled it out of the box, I knew it was too big for me. I knew it wasn't what I wanted, so I knew it was going to go back, so I didn't carry it. I didn't do anything with it. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. I'll do my best to answer, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.